What's up, y'all? It's Avian, and today I'm gonna be answering a question that several people have been asking me. How far is the range on the Sea-Doo switch? Now, we have the 170 horsepower Sea-Doo switch that's 21 feet. We're gonna be taking a long trip today. Now, this is for those people that are concerned about getting to the sandbars, the islands, and just anywhere far from their launch point and to see how far their sea doo switch can make it. I have a special assistant with me, Gracie, and y'all know Kingsley. He wanted to come on for the ride. And I've also brought the Link fuel jug just in case. So we may even make a longer distance. I'm gonna be taking y'all to the battleship Texas down in Baytown and also to O'Neill's in Baytown. Now we're launching right here a lot of people always ask me, where do I launch from? We're launching at Good Times in Crosby, Texas. Now let's get a move on because we've got things to do today. Forgot, before we start this video, I want to give a shout out to All Pup Love. It's a good organization because they give 10% of their profits to nonprofit dog foster organizations. And they have basically puppy and dog apparel. So show them some love and check out their website at allpuplove.com. All right, let's go. As you can see right here, we are at a full tank right now. I filled it up yesterday. A lot of people are concerned how much fuel does it heat up? But from my experience of using it three days, um, a couple weeks ago, I never had to fill up, not once, until after three days. So. Let's go. And we're going to try to get an average speed about 27 miles per hour on our whole time that we're going over there. Alright. So come on and ride away with me.
trying to take off after taking a bunch of pictures and it sounded like we sucked up something and man that IDF right now just saved this day come on over here real quick I'm gonna show you so what you do whenever like you feel like you got something stuck in the pump or um, in the intake more like it's more like in the intake area show, show right here all you do is just hold this button right and then it says engaging and you press the start button right here right it turns on then it tells you to throttle you're gonna throttle it so that the drive shaft will spin the opposite direction to get it out and then it'll tell you that basically it's done and after the IDF cleared it all up it sounds like we're ready to roll I mean, we did hit a big wave. Somebody didn't slow down for that wave, but we survived. Kingsley's a little shook up, but it's okay. We know that this Cedar Switch is pretty sturdy. So there goes the nails right there. They got plenty of dock space and fuel. If we need some, let's check on our fuel. All right, the fuel. Okay, we're above half still. That's good. So we've got enough fuel to make it back home. So guess what guys, um, I made a boo-boo. Um, normally I check things, I call ahead and everything and I thought O'Neill's was open during the weekdays, especially Friday. I thought it would be open by 12 o'clock and it's closed. <laughs> so we just came all the way out here and we can't eat lunch, can't have a refreshment. We can't do anything but head back. I guess we're gonna be making a trip right back. <laughs> Come on, Kingsley. Come on. Up. Good boy. Good job, Kingsley. All right, guys. So we're heading back now to Crosby, and we're going to try to make it there in good timing and get us some fried catfish.
the light comes on for the low fuel at three bars and we weren't that far down the river so hopefully i'll be able to tell you how much is actually in the reserve and a roundabout number of how many miles per gallon or how many miles you can get on a full tank with the Sea-Doo Switch 170 horsepower. The next day. All right, so I'm here at the gas station the following day and I'm putting fuel in to fill it back up. Y'all saw how many bars we had left, about two to three bars. And, and this is how I'm gonna be able to tell approximately how much fuel I used and make a roundabout calculation of how many miles per gallon we were able to get on the 170 horsepower. So I just put 26.9 gallons in to the sea switch. And it's a 29 gallon tank. Well, I'm guessing yesterday when the light originally came on, there was only about, there was about four gallons left inside the reserve tank. Now, hopefully this video was helpful to help you calculate how much fuel it's gonna take for you to get from point A to point B or the whole day of tooling around the lake or just hauling around the lake. So until next time, see y'all on the water.